country music star Morgan Wallen. He's been dropped by his record label and popular radio stations after he was caught using a racial slur on camera. Steve Osinsami is in Atlanta with the latest. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. Over the last few years, there's been a great deal of effort put in country music in underlining black artists and also underlining that the industry as a whole is a lot more racially inclusive than many people would like to believe. This incident doesn't help that. Morgan Wallen is arguably the most popular musician and singer in America right now, with the biggest selling and streaming album in all of music. He's a country star living the pop life, seen here coming home early Sunday morning in Nashville. They were loud enough, long enough to wake up the neighbors who were recording when he said this and shared it with TMZ. The sound of hearing their 27-year-old country music star using the ultimate of racial slurs has proven too much for the singer's two record labels. In the wake of recent events, they write, Big Loud Records has made the decision to suspend Morgan Wallen's recording contract indefinitely. Republic Records, the second label, fully supports Big Loud's decision and agrees such behavior will not be tolerated. The top radio chains have dropped him too. Cumulus Media, iHeartRadio, Sirius XM, and several others. Even the Academy of Country Music this morning is announcing that he is no longer eligible for any awards at their ceremony in April. It's the only time I can think of really in any genre where somebody just went from being the biggest star to having zero airplay almost in the course of one day. The superstar is apologizing in a statement saying that I am embarrassed and sorry. I used an unacceptable and inappropriate racial slur that I wish I could take back. There are no excuses to use this type of language ever. I want to sincerely apologize for using the word. I promise to do better. But a growing section of country music isn't accepting the apology. From Grammy winner Marin Morris, we all know it wasn't his first time using that word. We keep them rich and protected at all costs with no recourse. From Mickey Guyton, the first black female country singer to be nominated for a Grammy, when I read comments saying this is not who we are, I laugh because this is exactly who country music is. I've witnessed it for 10 years. How do you give someone a crash course in maturity as well as racial sensitivity? Um, I don't know that, that happens without a lot of time going by. There's a long held notion that people in country music have struggled to fight, that their tunes are meant for white audiences and that there might as well be Confederate flags waving in the background of some of their songs. But many of country music's roots are in black America. The banjo, for example, came to America from West Africa. Kiss an angel, good morning. And black artists like Charlie Pride, who died in December, have spent decades at the top of the country music charts. Morgan Wallen has needed to make a public apology before. In October, he was scheduled to appear as a guest on Saturday Night Live when this video of him partying in an Alabama bar made the rounds, clearly not following the show's COVID-19 safety protocols. He appeared on the show two months later, where they made fun of him over the incident. And I'll thank you in advance for giving this poor Southern boy oh. a second Yankee change. That's beautiful. <laughs> The Country Music Association this morning is now removing him from its digital platforms. And even the writer of one of his songs on his current hit album is out calling his behavior disgusting and horrifying, saying that the music industry should give his opportunity to someone more deserving, possibly one of its black artists. George. Yeah, that is a widespread sentiment. Okay, Steve, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.